Facebook Live, how are we all doing? It's been a couple of days off the uh, social media for me. I've uh, been down for a friend's wedding uh, down in the west coast, the beautiful west coast uh, of the South Island. So I'm um, just heading to the gym and then off to a meeting. So just wanted to uh, really just throw in a, a quick video as I hadn't been on here for a couple of days. So just keeping consistent on that front. So I hope you're all having an absolute cracker today. It's uh, around 15 degrees here in New Zealand today. So it's a, a balmy uh, 15 degrees clear sky so absolutely beautiful so uh, just wanted to get on here and really uh, I think uh, you know having I had many conversations uh, with people from all walks of life um, and a lot of people come through the university track and they come out um, and they get a get we get taught a lot of the how to's in life um, as people go through um, the education system we get a taught of we get taught a lot of how to do this, how to do that, um, a lot of repetitive uh, information out of books, etc. Um, that really, in a lot of a lot of ways, doesn't do us the justice that we need in life. Doesn't take us to the heights that we're really looking to get to. Um, and uh, the reason for this video really was what we need to be focusing on is we need to be focusing on our why, we need to be focusing on our destination, our reason, what is it that we want out of our life. Because when we focus on what that is, it's so much easier to go out there and do whatever it is that you need to do to get the result. The thing is most people are so systemized and so caught up. G'day Brian, how are you man? Um, hope that hand of yours is coming right. Justin, how are you brother? Um, and uh, you know, what, what I was saying is in life, we need to know what it is that we want out of life. We need to know where we're going. We need to, why, why are we doing what we're doing? Everyone is so caught up in the how to do this. I've got this degree. I've got this. I've got this master's degree or whatever you call it. Um, whatever you get when you go to university. And um, we, we, there's too many people overqualified. But, you know, all this education, all this information... Um, and they don't even know what to do with it when they come out. And it's the chosen few or the, the few that are out there that have a go, that are entrepreneurial, that want to do things for themselves, that step out on faith and have a crack because they have a reason to. And that's really the, the you know, the reason for doing this video today is you, what you need to be doing, ladies and gentlemen, is focusing on your why. Focusing on what is it that you want out of your life? What's your reason? What's the destination? What objective is it that I'm trying to achieve? Or is your only object, because going and getting a job is not an objective in life. An objective, like a job scenario will only take you so far. It might be able to make you financially stable or pay the bills. It will, it will get you to a certain point, but it will only take you so far. And that's why we've got such a big divide happening between, you know, the, the you know what we call the 95% of the population, which is the masses and the 5%. The 5% get wealthier, the 95% get poorer, and it's because they're not, they're focusing on the wrong things, they're focusing on all this education, on all this stuff that doesn't actually get them to where they want to go. What you want to be focusing on, focusing on is, okay, what sort of house do I want to have? Do I want to have the ability to travel? Do I want to have time to be with my family? Do I want, do I want to be able to have my wife when she has kids um, be able to, to stay at home and look after the kids and not have to go back to work and put throw the kid in daycare and uh, be, be looked after by other people to actually have time with the children because that's why we, 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 why we have them, isn't it? Um, and what, what, what I'm seeing t today, and it's ridiculous, is so many people just working so bloody hard, busting their ass, getting nowhere. And you don't have to do that, guys. You, what you've got to do is you've got to understand, okay, what is it that I'm wanting to achieve? Okay, what is it that I'm wanting to achieve? Now, how am I going to get that? Because a, a, unit, a, a degree on a piece of paper will get you a good job. It will get you some good security from a, a job perspective, but it will not get you financially independent. It will not get, create a lifestyle for you and your family that is unique. It, it, that just doesn't happen in a job. You've got to you've got to have your own business. You've got to be running your own ship. You've got to invest your money. You've got to you know you've got to have multiple income sources. You've got to have passive residual income sources. And this is what most people aren't doing because they're so caught up in the how 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 
and that's why they don't progress is because they don't, they don't even know why they're doing what they're doing they, they they come out of university they go to degree and get an environmental science degree or whatever it is that they do an accountancy degree and then they come out and they go and look for a job look for a job look for a job there's not many jobs out there and then they just take whatever they can to make a dollar bill and you know it's sad it doesn't have to be that way we, we need to wake up we, the world needs to wake up I, like why is it now that today that we and look if, if both the, the man and the woman want to go to work and you know that, that's how they want to do it and they want to put their kids in daycare that's fine but I don't know what's the point of having children if you don't spend any time with them g'day Josh how are you brother so uh, you know this is the thing guys if, if, if all you're doing is just trading all your time continually and you're not putting any money aside or you're just living week to week, pay to pay, year to year. Well, what's going to give? Something's going to give. Eventually your health will give. That's what happens. We all get As we get older, it gets harder. We start to get mystery parcels, as what my dad would say. So I understand the reason why I do these videos is not for my... I don't... Look, I do what I do because I like doing it. I like doing the videos online because I, lo I know because I get a lot of messages from people that it does help some people. It's not, it will probably annoy some others, but that's okay. But you've got to understand, you don't have to just keep trading your time. You don't have to be highly educated to be successful in life. Because success in life is not just a financial gain. Success in life is a whole range of different things and that's why I started doing these videos online in the first place was I understand my why, I understand my reason, I understand my objectives and destination etc from a materialistic point of view like I want to buy a farm, I want to do this, I want to do that that's all well and good but that only takes you so far as well what difference can I make in the world and that's why I started doing these videos online and why I started putting myself out there and started to do these speaking engagements and all this other stuff that I do was to make a difference because that was a reason for me that was higher than just a dollar bill because take the dollar bill will only take you so far you need you need the money to live a life of abundance that's the reality of it we need money to live it's a very expensive world that we live in like you go to the supermarket you'll blow 500 bucks just like that bang it's gone and um so it costs a lot of money to live today you know petrol's very expensive um Cars are very expensive. Housing is very expensive. So we need to be able to generate the income that's going to get us to where we want to go. And this is what the education system isn't teaching us. I deal with so many young people, and I, I talk to so many young people coming out of university, and they can't get a job. They're working at bloody Starbucks. They're working at McDonald's. They're working in um, hospitality. They've got these master's degrees and all this other carry-on, and they can't even get a job because there's not enough jobs out there. So what's going to give here do we do we need to wake up as a like someone's going to wake up here yeah, like i don't know what's your guys thoughts anyway look if you you might want to debate this i don't know um you know this isn't a is my opinion you know some of the stuff is factual but you know a lot of it is opinion from my point of view but all i know is to get success in life anyone that i know that is way more successful than me and you know living a, a life that is way more abundant than me all they talk about is why you know this is why i do it this is my reason you know this is where i'm going this is what i'm trying to achieve and there's always a higher calling or something that they're trying to get to whether it's a a, a bigger home or building a portfolio of houses or um you know it might be starting a charity it might be having the time to spend with their family whatever that may be they have that clearly in their mind, so they, they, it gives them the motivation so they can go out and do something out of the ordinary and get an out of an ordinary result. And that's what most people, most people think they're absolutely flat tack working a job, doing eight to five or seven to six or whatever it is that you're doing a job. They think they're flat out doing that and they're not willing to go and do anything extra outside of that to get the result that they're looking for because of fear, because of laziness, because of television. If most people just cut television out of their life, they would make a huge impact. They would become way more efficient. Television is an income reducer. So the reason why I say this to you guys is, and girls is understand your why, understand your reason. What is it that you're trying to do? You don't get into real estate because you love real estate. You get into real estate, 
Okay, look, don't get me wrong, I like elements of real estate, but I didn't get into real estate to make five bucks. I got into real estate, so I, it was a way for me to create a heap of equity, cash flow, etc., so that I can work towards getting my farm or my dream home, my property, free my wife from a job, all this sort of stuff. And see, I, I didn't get into, involved in network marketing because I wanted to go around and drive around and pour fuel down the drain and have coffees with people and get no-showed. I, I, I didn't want to do that. But I want the result that that type of opportunity can give me. You know, I did. I, I got into speaking and, and, and doing videos online, all this other stuff, not for money, any of that, for a reason, to help people wake up or help the... It's not going to... What I say is not going to affect everyone, but it will affect a few, and that message will go on to a few to find a few. And if a few just help a few, that's a whole lot more than most what most people are doing out there. Because most people are caught up in their own head, caught up in their own life, they're too busy, they've got no time to spend with friends, they've got no time to spend with family, they're working all the time, they're living from pay to pay, week to pay, to pay week to week, and they're broke. Broke not only for money, because that, that's not the biggest commodity here. The biggest commodity in life is time. None of us are guaranteed tomorrow. So why are we worried about why are, why are we so worried about what everyone else thinks? Why don't we get out there and get stuck in and do something for ourselves so that we can actually get the success that we're looking for? See, most people won't do that because they're scared and they're worried about, oh, what, what about if this happens? Now, by the way, if you're thinking about going and doing something for yourself, don't just drop what you've got. Make sure that you put a game plan in place before you go out and actually do something. Don't just go, bang, I'm just going to leave my job. I hate my job. Don't. Oh, that's not what I'm saying. But get a game plan. Talk to someone that's got some runs on the board. Talk to someone that's got some success on the board and ask them what they've done or what are they doing or where are they going. And, and hang on to those people because they'll lead you to where you want to go. So the whole reason for this message was this, pure and simple. In life, don't get so caught up in the how, 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 how to do this, how to do that. Who gives a rip? Find things that are going to help you get to your goal, your reason, your why, your destination. I don't care what it is. Find something, whatever it is, that's going to align with you, that's going to help you get to where you want to go. Because that's what it's about, ladies and gentlemen. It's about living a life of abundance. It's about living a life of choices, not having someone down, uh, you, know, you know, overpowering all the time saying, do this, do that. Be a man or be a woman and control your own life. And that's, that's all I can ask, is for people that watch this video, as I say, it's not always gonna to relate to everyone, but it'll relate to a few. And for the few that are watching this that it does relate to, if you don't know what to do and you need some advice or you need some avenues or ideas of how to move forward and, and maybe get out of that treadmill life, week to week, pay to pay, year to year, well, send me a, a personal message. Ask. You know, you know. There's so many people out there in the social media world, online websites. There's so many people out there that can help you move forward. So find someone that's going to help you move forward and find out what your reason is. Find out what your uh, your why is, your objective, etc. And we'll see you at the top. Have an awesome day, and we'll see you next time.